What's going on everyone? It is Vic with High Desert Man and I finally get to do a, uh, well actually I've done a review on a Zeal Cigar. It was the Liga Eclipse. Had it with a cold brew and it was very delicious. It, the pairing was fantastic. Um, but today I get to smoke the Maduro King's Comeback in a box press and I didn't even know he, uh, he had this in a box press. <clears throat> um, so very cool and there's not much about this cigar on Brad's website other than it's a Maduro cigar so um, I'm just gonna get into it but I'm guessing that it's a, a Connecticut broadleaf uh, wrapper on it and then who knows probably Nicaraguan binder and filler I would guess so a few weeks ago I went to Brad's shop. We hung out for almost four hours. Um, he, uh, I was in town for, I was in town for my sister's wedding. And the next morning, uh, Brad reached out to me. He knew I was gonna be in town and he was like, uh, when are you getting in town? I was like, I'm already here, I'm at my hotel. And the timing I thought was gonna suck, but Brad was a baller and uh, <laughs> decided to meet me at 8.30. He was already at his shop, so we met at 8.30, which was good because we hung out and chatted for, uh, for four hours, almost four hours. He gave me a King's Envy, which was a really good cigar. I'm going to review that one because he gave me another one of those. So I don't know, maybe I'll toss it in with this review or, or something, I don't know. Um, and I gave him, uh, just as I promised on the show that I was on, uh, the Bearded Bro show, I don't know, three, four weeks ago, something like that, um, I gave him uh, an American cigar. So I have one American left and, and months before they probably come out again. But it was awesome and uh, Brad really liked it. And the coolest thing about, okay. So, so there's a little bit of history here and, and I, I'm not gonna delve into it too deeply, but, uh, but it's, I, I talked with Brad about this. Wow, the draw on this cigar is great. Really good uh, draw. Putting off a lot of smoke. And uh, really a, a pretty good Maduro so far. We'll get into it a little bit here. Anyways. Ooh, a little bit of bite in the nose. That was yummy. Um, we planned tentatively on shooting some video and uh, you know kind of doing something together but we actually just ended up hanging out in his uh, lounge and just talking and and honestly I was really happy that we did that um, it was just it was really cool to get to know Brad so Brad and I kind of met uh, uh, quite a few years back let's see I guess it's been about five years ago now when my buddy Keith died Keith, uh, Keith's favorite shop was a um, was Cigar Warehouse. Cigar Warehouse was the B and M side of TNT Cigars. That Tim and, and Brad later came in to uh, sort of build that whole thing up and stuff. And uh, Keith hung out there all the time. So they uh, they kind of came into the picture not too long before Keith passed away. Actually, it was it, it was at least several months. Uh, now that I think about it, um, so they they knew uh, Keith. They knew he hung out how, hung out there a lot and stuff. And then Brad gave me uh, one of Keith's favorite cigars um, when uh, after we went to the funeral and stuff. I went to hang out with all the regulars that Keith always talked about. I knew some of the guys. I didn't know them real well because I didn't hang out at, um, at that shop as much as Keith did. Uh, because I'm a Fox Cigar guy, but um, I went and hung out with the guys and we reminisced about Keith and everything and that's when uh, I met Brad and he gave me one of Keith's cigars and uh, 
and then, uh, you know, time passed and stuff. So, and I, I, I can be completely upfront about this because I, I told this to Brad and uh, I, I was completely transparent with him. But um, I, over, uh, well, several months ago, over, I don't know how long, I had uh, reached out to Brad on Instagram quite a few times. Um, and I don't know if I was trying to conjure up uh, some kind of uh, sort of uh, Zeal Cigar um, High Desert Man partnership or whatever. Uh, um, anyways, Brad Brad is not a, a real big online guy aside from his videos that he puts puts up every week. He doesn't spend a lot of time going through uh, posts and, and posting and, and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of took this as him being a little bit uh, not so genuine in uh, whatever. And I, I just thought, well, th this guy doesn't reply to any of his comments. He doesn't, um, he doesn't reach out to people who have DM'd him, whatever. And I just thought he was a, a bit on the phony side. <laughs> but I was wrong. We had, we had such a blast and, and Brad's real persona not what you see on camera but his the person who he is is gentle um he's a man's man which i i really dig that about him and uh he's he's just a cool dude and sometimes you need that sometimes you need that uh contrast right we had a really good time and we just we talked about religion we talked about the cigar industry, uh, things that, that had been going on with the Bearded Bros show, that you know that whole. He, I mean, he didn't go into details about the backstory, but just kind of the, the whole thing about, um, you know, they were they were doing the show for uh, Stickman, but that only ran for one show, and then they started their own show and everything, and and Brad and, and Kevin are doing a really good job on that show. Let's talk about this cigar a little bit. It's a little guy. It's, um, I mean, it, it seems like it's over five, maybe five and a half inches. Yeah, about five and a half inches, but I, I don't think it's even a 50 ring gauge, no. So we're looking at a 48 ring, uh, 46 ring gauge. I'm sorry. Yeah, 46. So 46 by five and a half it's kind of a weird size and it tastes really good the only issue I'm having is there is a little uh, crack in the it's not even a crack it's almost like a just a void in the wrapper leaf right up here maybe if I cover it up that's better I was I was getting some air leakage um, I'm going to hit it with the lighter a bit here. Anyway, so Brad and I decided to take a rain check. Um, I'm going to go back into town here at a point when I have some time to run up to his shop. His shop is quite a ways north of, well, north and west of um, of the closest point that I ever get to his shop. So uh, getting there is, is quite a ways out of the way. Um, for me, it's probably a good at least 15, if not 20 miles from the, the closest point that I ever end up there, which is not horrible. Um, so I'll go, I'll, you'll see a, a video with Brad and I at some point. I think it'd be really cool to get Brad up here at the, uh, High Desert Man Farm sometime. All right, this this stick is pretty good. Um, it's uh, okay body wise. It's it's uh, fairly full body. There's a, a good coating going on in my mouth. It's Maduro. It, it tastes like Maduro. Uh, it's interesting though because there's a there's a combination of 
sweetness, spice, and the spice seems to be something like cinnamon or uh, uh, maybe cinnamon and paprika combined. And then, uh, and then a, a, a heat. All combined, it's it's all it's. I mean, it, all the flavors are just kind of blended real well, and it tastes good. It's putting off tons of smoke, as you can see. As long as I keep that uh, little hole covered up with my finger, then uh, I'm not having any leaking issues. Um, you know, it's one of his house brands. It's uh, uh, I don't know that it's necessarily a bundle stick. It tastes better than a bundle stick, to be honest. Um, I I wouldn't know what to compare it to, but it does taste like a premium cigar. Okay, I'm going to say this right now. Um, yesterday, I went for a walk, and uh, I had been uh, working all day, and then I did some uh, work in the yard and stuff, and decided I was I needed to decompress, and I, I wanted to be alone, so I went for a walk, and I smoked one of the archetype cigars. The one I had yesterday was the Cloaks. And, okay, so a premium stick. Uh, I don't remember what they charge for those. Actually, Brad, I think, sells those at his, at his website. Um, and I, I don't remember that. So I got three cigars. I smoked, I did a review of one. I smoked the Cloaks yesterday. And I don't remember the third one I have left. I don't remember the first one right now. But this blows the cloaks out of the water. Way better than the cloaks uh, from Archetype. So far. All right, guys. I'm going to... Uh, so Brad gave me a bunch of his stickers. And I want to... I do have a Zeal sticker already on my locker. I really would like to put some of the, the cigar stickers on my locker but I told Brad I promised Brad I would uh, do a custom smoke chest for him and um, I'm going to use a bunch of his stickers and, and his zeal sticker to kind of do that so that's what I'm going to get to work on and uh, we'll catch you guys in just a little while stick Coming around back to this King's comeback this is a good cigar guys this is uh, Okay, so I've had the King's Envy. Brad gave me that when I was at his shop. And now I've had the King's Comeback. I've liked both of them. They've both been really good cigars. Good enough that I think I want to order some uh, as... Uh, geez. I mean, because of the price and because of the house brand nature of it, you want to think it's, it's a you know, a bundle stick. Maybe technically it is, but it's a really good cigar. This one has a lot of unsweetened cocoa and um, and yet it's got some of the sweetness of that, of that Maduro wrapper in there. And it's mixed with spice. I'm not sure what spice. I'm thinking like a, a cinnamon paprika mix. And it, it's it's unidimensional. It, I didn't really get any changes other than it got a little more bold as I'm going. Um, I'm getting close to that little void in the wrapper, and so it's it's getting pretty hot on my finger to to uh, draw through it. I, I'm really happy about the size that I that Brad gave me. I don't know what this size is called. It was a five and a half by forty eight. Um, I feel like having another cigar, and so I'm going to do that. I got to go put my animals away here in just a moment. Um, but man, this has been a really good cigar. It's um, because of the way I, I've been holding it, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, whatever. It's it's gotten kind of squishy and stuff, but that hasn't really affected the smoke. Now I will say this: I did have some burn issues. Uh, it kept wanting to. Uh, not channel but tunnel like the whole of the uh, filler tobacco burning inside while the wrapper wasn't burning so much that happened a couple times took the lighter to it uh, just burned the the outer wrapper a bit other than that no issues with this cigar 
and um, a really, really good stick. Lots of smoke, and it's it's smooth. It, now, if you if you hot box this, it's going to get pretty rough. Um, I I kind of started hot boxing at about the halfway point because I was trying to get it going and, and keep it going and stuff and I was having that channeling thing and I was trying to just let it correct itself and I was just smoking on it too fast. Um, so it started to get a little rough. Now, what I've taken to doing just in the last couple days, Brad mentioned on one of his videos, I think it was one of the Bearded Bros shows within the last couple weeks, um, that he frequently purges uh, his cigars while he's smoking them. Not just, you know, typically when the only time I've really purged one is if uh, if it's gone out on me, I get to doing something or whatever. I light it up, get it nice and hot, and then purge it real good. And that's the only time I purge it. But yesterday on that cloaks that I smoked from Archetype, it started getting, it was burning great. It was it was smoking just like you want a cigar to smoke but it was getting harsh it was getting bitter <sighs> purging it a, a few times while I was smoking it just regular purging really helped that cigar out now truth be told that cigar was only good for maybe the first third after that I, I really didn't care for that stick too much this cigar has been good all the way through nice and smooth on the retro hail the flavors are blended really well on this cigar everything is just kind of married together well it's a good cigar it's definitely worth picking up uh, at least a five pack <clears throat> or at the price that these are at man keep them on hand um, sometimes oh there's a mouse there's a mouse on my freaking uh, on my counter little dude sticking his head out <laughs> Gosh, how'd he get in here? I've got this place sealed up pretty darn good. I'm not sure how he got in here. He's peeking at me. He's He doesn't have long to live. Uh, once I uh, determine there's a mouse somewhere in the barn or in the goat shed or, or wherever, I... Oh! <laughs> He's peeking at me. He's real curious. Oh, if I had my pellet gun, I'd tag that sucker right now. All right, guys. That's it for now. Until the next video, stay rugged.